Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS on Unshrouded. We're going to go with Windows first and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game so first of all display mode super important to play full screen don't use window or other parameter it's causing stuttering and you want to maximize your fps with full screen after that resolution make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor if it's a 1080p uh, 1440p or 4k monitor resolution scale make sure that you are at 100 uh, your visual will be uh you will decrease too much your visual when you downscale your resolution over there you should use other technology like the lss or fsr for that v-sync i recommend to go with off i like to always disactivate my v-sync because i don't want to add input lag in my game but again it's question of preference if you don't like those steering activate your v-sync or use another technology like g-sync or free sync uh, if you want to remove that field of view uh really important to understand if you put your field of view at maximum you're gonna lose some fps so my recommendation is start at default do the old guide look at your fps if you're fine with your fps you can definitely uh, uh increase your field of view limit frame rate bright background sorry i always put this one at on so first of all for anti-aliasing i recommend to go with dlss if you have an rtx card for sure and make sure that you're playing quality honestly balance looks very blurry and it's even worse in performance at quality you're gonna save 15 percent of your fps or you can use FSR2 if you don't have an RTX card at quality again. Uh, and you will save uh, 10 to 12% in your FPS. If you don't have those technology, I recommend to just go with FXAA. It's a simple anti-aliasing that will not cause too much impact on your FPS. For texture resolution, if you have 8 gig of more in, of VRAM on your GPU, go with max quality, 6 gig quality, 4 gig balance, less than 4 gig go with performance so it's pretty much binded to your uh, vram for shadow quality this one you have a couple of options if i compare max quality to performance you can expect 20 percent boost in your fps so it's huge but the game looks very flat at performance my recommendation is run it at balance but i'm gonna tell you how many percent that you can improve so it's question of what kind of computer that you have what kind of, of gpu if you're playing on an integrated gpu with a laptop you probably need performance so Again, question of preference. If you can run balance easily, contact Shadow, you can go with on. If you're struggling with your FPS, definitely uncheck this. And direct lighting, I recommend to go with balance, a nice 5% boost in your FPS. Reflection balance also, uh, it will not necessarily provide you a lot of FPS, but it will stabilize your FPS a lot. So I, I really recommend to go with balance for with this one. For quality, this one is a bit weird. You just have two different options, performance and quality. I recommend to go with performance. Uh, they should have like four different brackets over there. You can expect a nice 4% boost over here. Volumetric shadow quality, this one again. Normally, if you're struggling with your computer, you will have to put a lot of performance over there. But if you can run balance, I will recommend to put balance in a lot of different options. Uh, and I'm going to tell you which one. But volumetric shadow, the thing that you need to understand, uh, performance looks kind of flat. 
and off is even worse so my recommendation is go with balance but it's gonna tank your fps so if you compare balance versus off you can add another seven percent boost in your fps so for sure if you're struggling with your fps definitely go with off uh or just go with performance to have like a basic volumetric shadow quality and beyond inclusion, I recommend also to go performance or balance. If you can run balance over there, definitely go balance in here and go balance with distant object. Uh, you will have an, a decent image quality, honestly. If you go at performance or even off and beyond inclusion, the game looks very flat. Uh, I don't recommend to go with off. So recommendation, if you're struggling, go performance and performance over there. Distant uh, object, again, if you can run balance, just go with balance. If you can run performance, just go with performance. I don't recommend to go with off. You will sell a crazy amount of pop-in. So again, recommendation to go with off. Don't go with quality. It will tank your FPS like crazy. Voxel detail model. Everybody can run balance. Honestly, I didn't see a huge difference between off, performance, and balance. So definitely this one run balance. Small foliage. I recommend to go with performance. You can expect a nice 5% boost in your FPS. Tessellation, balance, or even quality. Uh, for the past five years, honestly, the, all the video card can run easily tessellation. If you have a, like a, a very old Radiant car from like eight years ago, definitely remove tessellation. But you can run this one without any issue. And the last one, point light shadow, I recommend to go with off. One more thing I want to mention, you have the screen shake over there. I recommend to deactivate it, honestly. Uh, it adds a lot of uh, noise in your visual quality. So my recommendation is go with off. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my unshrouded guide. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.